Hey everyone, a really quick video just to help you with how to zip up and compress your game files so that you can either email them for assistance or later on make a submission. Um, or if you just want to share your uh, game files with somebody else to have a look at what you've been doing. So here I have the tutorial game, Dodge, your, uh, Dodge the Creepers, uh, working and ready to go. And of course we can do everything we're supposed to do. Um, so what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take everything that makes up this game and send it off. So if we're looking at resources on the left here in my case, um, and again, remember you can move these windows around so it could be somewhere else, but the file system resources, what I want is everything that makes up this um, program, all the directories underneath. So everything under this res, res meaning resource locator. Okay, so this is not actually a location on your computer as such. You can't like type res in your file browser and find it. This uh, indicates the starting folder for everything else. So you can go into your um, normal file browser, whether that's Mac or Windows, and find the folder and compress it, and that's fine. But an easier way to do it is simply to come over here to your file system and right click on the res option. And you can do right click on Mac or Windows will work the same way. If you then go down to the bottom of that pop out window, uh, and I'm sorry it's on the bottom of this video, but you'll see open in file manager. So I click on that, again, Mac or Windows doesn't matter. It's going to open up your file browser and it's going to be inside that folder. So here we can see all the files and folders, just like they are shown in the file system in Godot, that make up this game. So from here, what I want to do is select all those files. So I can highlight them, I can do Control A or Command A on Mac, doesn't really matter, but I want to uh, choose everything that's in that folder, all the subfolders. So you can see I've got one folder here called Dodge Assets, and then I've got all the files that make up the game. But once I've chosen everything, I simply want to, um, and I can usually do this again with a right click, choose the option to compress them. So on the Mac that I'm using here, it's compress and 16 items because that's what I've chosen. On Windows, I'll try and put up a, a picture of it now if I can find one. But on Windows, I'm pretty sure it says uh, send to zip or compress as well. You'll be able to find the correct option. But basically, if you choose that, it'll take all the files that you've chosen and make a new zip or compressed file. Okay, now on the Mac, it's called an archive. On Windows, it'll call it something else, but you'll see a similar sort of file. Now, I would like you to rename that file uh, so that when you send it to me, it makes some sense. So I want you to use your last name, then your first name, and then the name of the game. So Dodge the Creepers. Okay, so just rename the file. Don't forget to keep the zip file on the end of it. So now I have uh, a zip file that has only take up 1.9 megs and it contains all these files inside it. So this zip file or compress file is the one that you would either attach to your email when you send it to me asking for some help along with any other screenshots and information that will help me to understand the problem that you're having. Uh, it's also the file that you would submit um, as your work when you make a submission on Schoolbox because again it has all the files that make up your game. Um, I'm able to take this zip file, uncompress it, and set it back up on my computer so they can open your uh, program and look at it just like this now and play your game or see the errors that you're having. Uh, so that is how you take your whole game, compress it in a way that you can send it to someone else. Um, a couple of quick reminders about that though. Obviously, it's made this compressed file inside uh, the game folder. So... If I was to need to send a second thing for help, um, don't include this zip file. So when I select all the files again, I don't want to include the previous zip file. So a couple of things you might want to do. You could just ignore it and choose everything except that file if you still want to keep it. Um, or once you've sent it to me and you're, you're finished with that particular problem, you might choose to delete that zip file so you don't, don't have it sitting there forever. Um, so yeah, don't include the, the previous zip files if you're making a new compressed file to send to me or someone else. The one other reason this is also really useful is I do encourage you to um, make regular backups of your work so that before you maybe start the next part of the tutorial, you had a working game that was fine, but you're about to start the next bit or you're going to try making something new in your own game later on. 
maybe it's a good idea to zip it up um, and put it somewhere else maybe maybe make another folder somewhere on your computer that you can keep versions of the game and again you might want to add something extra here like version one version two or something like that so that let's say you try the next part of the tutorial and things get really stuffed up the worst case you can go back to where you were and try again so you don't have to sort of work out what you did wrong you can just go back unzip uh, an older version and start again from there okay so it's another good way uh, to do a bit of version control uh, and keep some backups okay so again very easy come down here in your Godot thing uh, to the res folder which is the top of your game right click and go open file manager which gives you this highlight all the files excluding maybe any previous zip files that you have created right click and find the compress or send to zip or something similar on Windows, compress it, rename it, following the, the idea of last name, first name, and then name of the, the game or whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to call this one Creepers so it doesn't conflict. And then that file is right to either send or submit if you need to. Thanks everyone. That's just a really quick video. It doesn't help you with your game. It's just how you can then get help if you need it.